This lesson is different than the others. You're about to experience a series of situations seldom seen by drivers who conscientiously apply IPDE principles. The reason for including these exercises is not that we doubt your IPDE ability, but because occasionally, due to an error in judgment or an unusual combination of circumstances, identification, prediction, and decision time may be used up and you may have only a split second to identify hazards and execute a move to avoid or minimize a crash. How you react in that split second may be a matter of life or death. Start your car. Put it in drive gear. Accelerate to 45 miles an hour and let me show you what I mean. All set? Okay, now try driving through this situation. Check your inside mirror. that example give you an idea of what I meant by unusual situations? How did you react? Would you have avoided an accident? Let's review on this model board and see how the situation developed, especially during those last critical seconds. We were passing the station wagon normally. As an approaching car came in sight, we started moving back to the right lane behind the truck. Just ahead of the truck was a Volkswagen that, for some reason, forced the truck driver to stop short threatening us with a crash. Braking alone wouldn't have saved you. Blocked ahead by the truck and to the left by the approaching car, you should have identified the clear shoulder and realized the best way out was to brake and steer right. Your braking action, however, must be carefully controlled to get maximum braking without locking the wheels. Get set to try that same situation again. Accelerate to 45 miles an hour and be ready to escape to the right. Although escape to the right is usually the most desirable, the right does not always offer a clear way out. Let's try a different situation. Set your speed at 30 miles an hour for this one. How'd you respond to that one? It's not unusual for cars turning right to stop in the middle of a turn. When this happens in heavy traffic, you're in danger from both ahead and behind. That time, the people on the lawn prevented escape to the right. But you should have identified a way out on the left. The left lane was clear. No matter how carefully you watched for clues, that was a difficult problem to predict. The real cause, the bicyclist, out of your sight here, forced the sudden stops by drivers ahead of you. You were caught in a chain reaction of events. Try that situation again. Accelerate to 30 miles an hour, and this time be prepared to take the clear escape route to the left.
You have now experienced an escape to the right and to the left. Establish a speed of 30 miles an hour, and let's see how you react in a slightly different situation. How did you handle that one? When the driver here opened his door, forcing the car ahead of you to stop suddenly, you were boxed in by moving traffic on the left and parked cars on the right. The only reasonable action was to brake hard and hold the wheel straight. Try the same situation once more. Re-establish a speed of 30 miles an hour and this time, try to get the feel of holding position when there is no escape to either side. Ready? What you've just done, braking hard and holding position, is the most natural reaction, therefore the most frequently used to avoid or minimize a potential crash. There are occasions, fortunately rare, when quick acceleration can be the best escape possibility. And this technique is used in another lesson. For now, we'll concentrate on the brake and hold, the escape right, and escape left. Let's try a few more critical situations and I'll let you make the crucial split-second decisions on the best response to avoid or minimize the danger. Catch your car up to 45 miles an hour for a drive on the open highway. All set? Did you identify the open left lane in time to escape left? Set your speed at 35 now and we'll try another one. You'll be in the left lane of a four lane street. Here we go. Were you caught by surprise or were you alert to the open lane for escape to the right? All right, let's go again. 45 miles an hour this time. Did you avoid the crash that time? Your only chance was to brake hard and hold the wheel straight. The bridge railing on the right and the approaching traffic prevented any escape to either side. Drive into the next situation at 30 miles an hour. Remember, 
you will have three choices. Escape left, break and hold, and escape right. Think fast. The decision will be yours. Increase your speed now to 40 miles an hour. For this situation, establish a speed of 30 miles an hour. Accelerate now to 40 miles an hour. Resume a speed of 40. Get your speed back up to 40 again. Did you notice that the action of the vehicles ahead of you in the last two situations was exactly the same? When this car stopped suddenly, the driver behind was caught off guard and swerved into your path. The first time, the right shoulder was clear and you could escape right. The second time, however, pedestrians here blocked your escape in that direction. Your best move then was to brake hard and hold the wheel straight. You might not have avoided a crash, but at least you would not have endangered the lives of two innocent bystanders. Secure your car. I hope these experiences give you a start in developing a set of semi-automatic responses that will help you reduce the chance of serious damage or injury if a crash seems imminent. You may be able to help yourself further when you drive by checking for a possible way out should danger occur. Imagine that the unexpected is going to happen and decide whether you would escape left, escape right, or break and hold. <laughs>